I don't think anybody being 100% liable for somebody else's actions is fair no matter what you do or what company you're in. Uh, we are a woman-owned, woman-operated, drywall, carpentry, lath, plaster, interiors contractor. 100% union and only in New York. Uh, it was originally my father's company and he passed away in 2007 and I came in to run it out or sell it and in a year I was hooked and here I am. Uh, we employ an average of about 85 to 90 men out on the field and about a dozen people in office. Everybody who leaves home should go home in the same condition they left. We have shut jobs. I've pulled men off the field. I've walked jobs myself and called GCs and told them the guys were coming off unless conditions were changed. I just went through a liability audit in July and got my new rates and literally choked. The audit went fine. It was what's happening in the industry with the insurance. So my general liability rates went from, I believe it was somewhere around 86,000 or so to now almost 140,000. The percentage of insurance that I have to put on each dollar for every dollar that we bid has to go up. It, it basically comes down a trickle effect where as a subcontractor you have to add that insurance cost that goes to the contractor. The contractor's GLs are even worse than ours. They have to add that cost to the owner. The owner in a lot of these jobs our public agencies and so all of our tax dollars are going to fund this scaffold law. Um, one particular agency, the School Construction Authority, we happen to do a lot of work for them. We don't do renovation schools, we do new schools from ground up. We work with some of the top GCs in New York. Just this year the School Construction Authority was notified in July that the carrier that they had had for the past eight years was no longer interested in renewing their general liability insurance, regardless of the cost. I am very active with many agencies that are looking to get this law reformed. Not abolished, even though we are the only state with it, but to reform it, to make comparable liability. In court, the judges and the juries would hear that if somebody was hurt and it was proven that they had alcohol in their system or some type of drugs or if they misappropriated or totally neglected to use some safety device that they were trained how to use and operate to keep themselves safe, why should we be liable?